Hi, I'm Diana Stamfler, author of Michigan's Haunted Lighthouses. This book was published in 2019 by the History Press and is the culmination of almost 20 years of my research about lighthouses around the state of Michigan. If you are not aware, Michigan has more lighthouses than any other state at over 125, with about three dozen of those rumored to be haunted. Now, inside the pages of Michigan's Haunted Lighthouses, I'm going to introduce you to keepers at 13 different lighthouses around the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and Lake Huron. You'll be introduced to folks like John Herman, who was a Lighthouse Keeper at Wagashaw's Shoal Lighthouse that's located in the Straits of Mackinac. It's actually in a state of disrepair right now. But John Herman was quite a prankster and it is said that he locked his assistant keeper in the tower one night and then was never seen again. I was able to find some real information about what happened to him in October of 1900 at the time of his death. You'll also meet families from Marquette and Whitefish Point, which are rumored to be haunted and have had paranormal investigations. My folks at the Upper Peninsula Paranormal Research Society have done research at Whitefish Point. Of course, this is where the Edmund Fitzgerald went down in 1975, but there are rumored to be countless spirits there, including a young child believed to be that of Bertha Andres Carlson. And Bertha was a child. She was raised at the lighthouse by her grandparents who were the keepers there, she lived into her 90s, but her spirit has been seen in her upstairs bedroom of that lighthouse many times over the years. And one of the first lighthouses I learned about in being haunted was the um, old Presque Isle Lighthouse over near Alpena in Lake Huron. And back in the 1990s, there were reports of the light shining, even though it was deactivated. There was no electricity to the tower. And they believe that it was George Paris whose spirit was hanging on there. His wife had many encounters with his ghost over the years as she tended to the gift shop in the Lighthouse Museum there. And when I spoke there in 2019 in that community, I actually asked those in attendance, about 80 people in attendance at the program, how many of them had seen the light themselves shining unexplainably over the years. And I want to say close to 90% of the hands in that room went up that day. Now, I made a drive down to the lighthouse that night to see if I could find it shining for me. And unfortunately, I did not experience that. But I did do a paranormal investigation with a lot of strange happenings at Port Brashett Lighthouse. Located in Port Huron, dates back to the 1820s and is Michigan's oldest lighthouse and is still an active light. And in fact, they do paranormal investigations there every October that the public can take part in. And we did some investigation in the main keeper building, as well as the fog signal building, the old Fort Gratiot Hospital, which is on the grounds, and the tower itself. And we did very strange activities, some uh, camera activity on our phones, some flashlight activity, and some very interesting photographs that came out of that lighthouse as well. Now, in the pages of Michigan's Haunted Lighthouses, you're going to learn a lot about the ghost stories and the keepers who tended lights around the Great Lakes at these 13 lighthouses. But you're going to learn a lot about maritime history and the history of the communities where these lighthouses were built. Of course, they were uh, constructed originally to protect the shorelines when ships were traveling through, whether that was for fishing or agriculture or the lumbering industry, mining, of course, in the Upper Peninsula. So they were there to be guardians of the Great Lakes. And it was, I think, the dedication that many of these lighthouse keepers had to their profession. It was more than just a job, really, to them uh, that keeps them hanging on even many years, centuries even after their death. Now, we have some keepers like Bill Robinson at White uh, River Light Station in Whitehall. He served over 40 years at his lighthouse, passed away in the light. He and his wife are still roaming inside that lighthouse today. And I find that quite a, a romantic story uh, about their love of each other and of the lighthouse. So I invite you to check out Michigan's Haunted Lighthouses. You can get it at mihauntedlighthouses.com. And uh, I'm also doing presentations about the topic at various uh, libraries and other online resources uh, throughout the course of the year. So you can find Michigan's Haunted Lighthouses on Facebook and get all the details on that as well.